Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. And guys, today we're looking at Ultra Prism Rotom in the standard format, not in Expanded. I know Expanded, this deck is probably really, really good, but we're going to be looking at it in the standard format today. And we're going to see if this deck can actually work. Before I get into today's video, I do want to say a couple things. Thank you for all the support on the Ultra Prism content that I've been pumping out for you guys been really appreciating all the, you know, the kind words and everything. I've been, you know, reading comments and stuff like that. So I have to thank you guys for that. It, you know, made me pretty darn happy and, like, put a smile on my face. It made me feel like I have a purpose on this, on this website. And also, um, I've recorded a Napoleon video, which was going to go up today, but I'm going to put that out tomorrow or Sunday. Anyways, we're going to look at Rotom today. And honestly, man, Rotom, it's a pretty unique card it's got this ability, and well they all have this ability, where if you have 9 or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore all the energy and the attack cost of each of this Pokemon's attacks. This is pretty interesting. Now, it's hard to get tools in the discard in standard. We don't have Battle Compressor. Without Battle Compressor, getting the tools in the discard pile is going to be kind of difficult to do. And um, it makes this deck a little more of a challenge, but it is still interesting nonetheless. Now each Rotom has this, and there's a lot of, there's a couple of Rotoms we can look at. This is probably the best one, the Lightning Rotom, the normal one. Um, Plasma Slice just is 120 damage, nice solid damage. We got Mo Rotom, which is a grass type, so if you're playing against Greninja. We have Special Mo, discard a special energy from your opponent's active. That's a pretty solid attack against stuff like Zoark. Um, so Special Mo can be really good. Um, the grass typing isn't bad either. We even have a Fire Rotom, which... You know, you're going to be able to hit Golisopods for weakness. You're going to be able to hit all those Fire Week Pokemon mainly. So, Heat Rotom is also kind of nice. Um, I wish I wish Heat Blast did more than just 80 damage, though. I'm not going to lie. And then we have Frost Rotom. There's actually another Rotom. There's uh, another Water-type Rotom, but that one's trash. This one has actually a pretty decent attack. Frost Crush. This 10 plus 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. That's not a bad attack, because decks like Volcanion and Gardevoir will tend to have quite a bit of energy in play. You're not going to take a lot of one-shots with Frost Crust, but you... Uh, oh, whoops. I just smacked my elbow against my keyboard. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that. Sorry, guys. That scared you. But Frost Crush, um, we can at least two-shot them. And then we have Spinning Fan, which is literally the exact same attack as Flying Flip. Now, there's another Rotom, like I said before. This Rotom is not very good um if it can, I can search up rotom there's all these different rotoms and then you got wash rotom the worst of them all just 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon so you're not even gonna knock anything out this card is just this is the worst rotom of them all unfortunately it's gonna be pretty useless since we already have the flying flip attack so it's like why would we need that so we're just gonna be playing these rotoms we do play a two 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 and a three line of these because this one does the most damage now, how do we get tools in the discard for the ability to work? Well, there's options. The first one is Zoark GX. Look, I know Zoark is like overdone and like in the game in general, but it's one of the most logical things to have in this deck since we can do trade and discard a tool card, draw two cards. It gives us a nice backup attacker too. I like uploading Zoark videos on Fridays. There's actually a very like special reason to me as to why I like making Zoark videos on Fridays. Like, I don't want to talk about it. But there's like this, there's a really special reason as to why I like making Zork videos every Friday. Um, it's a long story. Um, of course, we got Lele with Wonder Tag. And obviously, those are all the Pokemon. Now, there's really, I mean, there are, I don't know if there's that many more abilities to help discard tools other than just Zork. Um, I'm not even going to bother searching, but if you want to run any other Pokemon in here, there might be another discarding. Um, card from your hand type of Pokemon that I'm forgetting. Um, there is actually something meme worthy. I think Gibble. I don't know. Whatever. I'm trying to think of cards that can discard cards from your hand. But yeah, Zoark's your main one. We got Lele, which technically counts because you can grab a Sycamore or Suffolicus. So, anyways, let's take a look at other options to get rid of supporters. First off, we have Sycamore and Suffol. I'm not. You know, I can't even pronounce this dude's name. But yeah, these are options to discard tool cards, and both of them are pretty good. Now, we have some more options, like Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from your hand. Obviously, Ultra Ball is another really good way. Now, the ultimate way to do it is with Field Blower. 
because this gives me a reason to put Secret Rare Field Blower in the thumbnail. And Secret Rare Field Blower has this effect. Choose two, any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadiums in play, discard them. And we're going to be running four of these because what we're going to do is we're going to put two tools in play. And then we're going to Field Blower those tools off. And that counts as a double discard. So Field Blower, another great way to put tools in the discard. Now, there's a tool that actually will discard itself, like Bursting Balloon, so we're going to be playing four of those. And that's really it for getting cards in the discard. It's not too hard. It might take you a couple of turns. You're, you're definitely not going to get this on turn one, unless, like, your hand is, like, super, super good, or, like, your opponent mulligan like, seven times. But you're never really going to ever pull this off turn one. It might take you a few turns to do this. We do have Zoark, which can put on early pressure. We have Lele with Wonder Tag. So we can soften them up and then come in with Rotoms when we get the tools going. And speaking of which, let's look at the other cards. One counter catcher, since we're probably going to lose in prizes before Rotom goes off. Four field blowers. We got two nest balls. No Bridget in this deck, as you may realize. We don't really need it, because the goal of the deck is to play stuff like Cephalokies and Sycamore to get cards in the discard pile. So we're playing nest balls like a replacement. Two rescue stretcher. Rotom will obviously get knocked out most of the time. It's very fragile. Again, we got our ultra balls. I do go with one Cynthia, one N as a split. I might run two ends instead because, again, you're going to be losing in prizes. Three Guzmas, since, again, you have all these types to your advantage, you can Guzma stuff up and knock them out. Like, hey, nice Lycan Rock, it'd be a shame if I special mode it. Or, hey, nice Glissapod, it'd be a shame if I heat blasted it. Or, hey, Frost, oh, you get my point, right? So we're playing three Guzmas. Four Sikas and two Salaf. So I can't even pronounce this dude's name again. I'm just going to call him Sof. Oh, I'm just going to call him Sofo. We got Sofo and Sycamore. Now for this tools, we got two Assault Vests. This is actually a pretty decent card. Gives your Rotoms a little bit more of a tank to them. Four Bursting Balloons. Again, Bursting Balloon get damage on the board. But one of the most important things about Bursting Balloon is, of course, it discards itself after. Four copies of Choice Band. It's a, it's a tool card you actually don't want to discard most of the time. Because Special Mo needs to sometimes do 180. Heat Blast definitely needs to have the Choice Band to one-shot Galissapods. Even Frost Crush to a degree. And even if you soften them up, you can just Plasma Slice with a Choice Band for 150. One dash, one escape board, just why I'm just running random tools. One fighting fury belt, another tool that's pretty good for Rotom. Three float stones, two poison barbs. I mean, it's all kind of damage modifiers like poison barb, belt, choice band, bursting balloon. They all kind of get damage on the board. And just two copies of DCE. That's literally it. That's the list. We'll take a look at other tools real quick before we go find some matches with this deck. Now, in Expanded, I think this deck actually has some potential. In Standard, it's like, meh. We can run Bent Spoon in here if you want. Um, you can run Bodybuilding Dumbbells if you put on Zoark. You can run maybe, like, I don't know. Energy Pouch wouldn't work. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe four Float Stones. Now, obviously, not Heavy Boots. Maybe three Poison Barbs. But, yeah, obviously, that's really it. A lot of the other tools are stuff like Weakness Policy and Psychic Memory. Just, you know, memory cards. You're not going to need those cards. Um, so yeah, this is my Rotom standard deck. We're gonna try it out, have some fun on PCGO. I think I'm just gonna hop right into these games, and we'll, we'll find. We'll, I just went. I, imagine if I did a video where I entered a tournament. All right, let's do it. Ready? Do you actually? Do you dare me to actually enter a tournament with this deck? 89 coins. I can drop 80. No, I don't even have enough. What am I saying? Ah, I don't even have enough. I thought it was 89. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I was actually tempted. If I had enough coins, I actually probably would have entered that tournament i think we passed the deck yeah so we'll find some games hopefully we can have some fun obviously i'm not expecting for this deck to work and win games if we play against garboder it's like we're in a lot of trouble but i want to at least have some fun with the deck and see if we can get like some fun games and even if we lose it's like whatever as long as we can have fun that's really all that matters so we are going to win the coin flip so we'll see how many tools we get in the discard and i think we're actually up against a Unfortunate matchup known as Galissapod Garb. I'd rather Vika Bulu, even though it's kind of tough because we can't one-shot them consistently. But I'd rather Vika Bulu than Galissapod Garb. Because Garb shuts down our ability. Okay, good, he's not. Alright, unfortunately, guys, we don't really have a good hand. Hmm. Our hand's pretty bad. I don't want to play these tools because I might discard them if I draw an Ultra Ball. I really don't like losing Guzma either. I think I just pass. Which kind of sucks. We have a bit of a, what a bad hand. It's fine though. We do have Zorua, so if we can find Zoark, we can have an out. But I, I totally forgot about the Rotom deck. Like I went, I just played Expanded 
quickly. I did a quick game and expanded for something. And I played against a Rotom deck. And I was like, yo, I have to make a video on this in standard because it's so lit. Besides, Empoleon, who really, these people, you guys even want to see an Empoleon video at this point. It's probably going to be over down on YouTube anyways by the time it goes up. But, you know, I'm still going to upload it. Because I still believe in Empoleon. Empoleon, I think, is actually a somewhat decent card. So we're going to see a Lele for Bridget. No Lily. It'd be nice if we can draw our N. It'd be nice if we can draw anything. Eight cards in his hand. I don't know. He's definitely got rare candy beakable though. Oh, another Mo Rotom. That sucks. I hope we don't lose because we can't draw anything. I can try and Guzma stall for a little bit. That's kind of my best best thing right now I can do. So he's gonna get Vikavolt and play most likely, unfortunately, and I can't really do anything about that. Unless we can, you know, the uh, best thing I can do is maybe trap a Grubbin or something. Try and go from there. That sucks. Hopefully we can get something going next turn. Because I really don't want this game to just turn into him booluing me every turn. And we can't even draw anything. That would really suck. Kind of does suck. Bulu doesn't have any weakness, so it's not like you could just heat blast it. I really wish Tabu Bulu did have weakness, though, because Bulu Vikavolt at the moment is proving to be a pretty powerful archetype. Like, Vika Bulu is literally becoming one of, like, the most feared decks, I think, at the moment. So I really hope they find a way. I, I mean, I'm not going to have nerf Bulu, but Bulu is one of those cards that I really wish had a weakness, because it is pretty OP with Vikavolt. Like, that combo is so, so strong. But I don't know. We'll see if they ever give Bulu the right treatment and give it a weakness, obviously that will happen. Just speaking of Bulu, does my opponent find one? He does do strong charge. Um, I don't think we're going to get knocked out this turn, but we do need to draw something soon. So he's charging up Vikavolt. I guess he wants to strong charge or electro cannon me. Mm. There's a chance of fighting fear, but oh, okay, we got a balloon, so we can put that in the discard pile at least. It'd be nice to actually have that hit a Bulu though, and then we can finish it off with the Plasma Rotom. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna bring up Grubbin. Yeah. Mo Rotom's pretty useless here because he doesn't play any special energy, so I'm actually just gonna do this, try and buy some time, force him to. Float stone or double strong charge. Maybe this buys us a turn. I think. Oh, I should have put field blower in. Oh, I didn't realize he would do that. Alright, well, there's one tool. We need eight tools more in the discard pile. Which, hopefully we can get going soon. We need to draw something, though. There's a heavy ball. Probably going to grab him the Bulu. Yeah, really? Well, if you got rid of the fighting fury ball. Oh, no, he's going to be nice if I had the Fighting Fury Ball there. He has another rare candy in his hand. Oh my goodness. I swear, dude. I don't know what it is with Vika Bulu. They always get rare candies, dude. I don't get it. Like, I don't know. Like, is Vika Bulu, like, some kind of magic deck that, like, always gets rare candy? I hate to be, like, the complainer here, but every time I play against Vika Bulu, they always have rare candies in their hand. Literally on the second turn. I don't get it. So, we're gonna get knocked out here. He's gonna burn a lot of energy, though, to do 150, which I'm fine with. I wouldn't mind Zoark. We can try and put damage on him. I don't know. I'm trying to trying to think of a way out. Like, can we please draw something game? I don't want to lose, because we're not drawing very well. It just makes for a very unentertaining game. Like, it's nice to see him have to discard all that energy. But, it's not nice when we cannot draw anything at the same time. Alright, there we go. We drew a Sycamore, which is good. So we can get things going. So now we got more tools. Now that is what I like to see. Hmm. Now we'll get rid of Poison Barb and Fighting Fury Bell. Let's grab Zoark. Can we get enough tools? We got five in the discard pile, so we need four more I don't think we can so I think what I'm gonna do is trade off this N and I'm gonna balloon the fan Rotom 
Yeah, I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna let him keep burning energies to knock out my fan Rotom. I don't know, like, I might save Zoark for a knockout on, on a Lulu. He's actually going to Guzma my Zoark, it looks like. Now, I don't... He could knock me out if he has Lulu, Grass, Floatstone, Choice Band in his hand. Does he have, like, Lulu, this dude? I don't know what's going on. There's Energy Recycler. Okay, that's a little annoying. Because now he's going to get all that energy back. Which is one of the things I kind of liked about the situation we were in a second ago. Maybe I should just balloon the Zoark expecting that. I don't know. At least we're not getting knocked out. That's the only good thing. So we got, again, five tools. We're going to have six. We need three more tools in the discard pile, guys. And then we can start attacking with our Rodoms. And I don't know if we can win the game, but we'll try. Yeah, I've not seen a single draw supporter or Rangaroo or anything for my opponent in a couple turns. So I don't know if he's holding on to Nen or Lele or something, but we'll see. Probably going to have to retreat Zoark here. We're going to lose DCE, but again, once we get the tools in the discard, we're not going to need energy. I mean, he still have one DC left, so it's all good. He might play Tapu Koko Flying Flip, but we have 30 HP, so it's not like it's going to matter all that much. I would have draw. Drew a Field Blower. Hmm. Part of me wants to do Cynthia. So that's seven. We need two more tools. But part of me does want to do Cynthia. But I think I'm going to do Sycamore instead. I'm just going to try and find a Floatstone in some way to pull off. Okay. We got Rotoms. Unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to... Maybe, I actually... Hmm. Okay. Let me think this through. So I have the retreat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trade off this. Oh, no, actually, I should put Lele down. I don't know, maybe I should put Lele down. I don't know. Field Blower. Oh, you can Field Blower. That's not good. I was hoping for Field Blower there. So we're gonna have to sacrifice probably just Fan Wood. Um, so Poison Barb. Hmm. One, two, six, eight. Yeah, we need one more tool. One more tool. I'm just gonna put that down for memes. I was hoping we would find like one of our four field blowers off that trade, and then we actually could have attacked him this turn, which would have been so cool. But nope, we whiffed. So I'm at the pass. We can poison barb him, which is nice. And then the poison map might actually let us take him out with plasma slice. You can run Professor Kakui in here. That'd be another good option, to be honest. Super Rod. I, my point, I don't think he's taking this game that seriously. Because <laughs> he sees it's just literally a Rotom deck. So we're going to see a Lily. So we're definitely going to get knocked out. There's a Mew. So he does play Bulu, but we have not seen it yet. All these tools doesn't matter because it's just like we got four field blowers. This guy, I guess, is good too against Garboder, obviously. Garboder is your worst matchup, shuts down basically your whole deck. But with four field blowers, it's like you don't have to worry about it. But it's like a double edged sword. You got four field blowers to deal with the Garbotoxin, but that's a ton of ton of items you gotta get in the discard. You need basically 180 damage in the discard pile. So those Zoark and Lele aren't gonna be taking that many hits from Garbotoxin in the late game. Okay, strong charge again. I don't mind him knocking me out. We can poison him. I don't know how much that matters. I'm hoping he doesn't have another draw supporter. I don't know. He plays like, what, three lilies? Who plays three lilies? But we'll see if he has a draw supporter for next turn or a way to retreat. So he's two Guzmas. He probably only plays three. I hope Zoar can not get knocked out for the last two prizes. Now, because Poison Barb, we are able to finally get the show on the road. And we can start attacking him with Rotom's name, which is lit. So do we draw. Choice Band's pretty nice. Uh, how much are we doing with Frost Crush? I think we do Frost Crush, because I think it comes to a point where he's going to be discarding energies anyways, so it's fine. I'm going to get rid of Floatstone. Actually, maybe I should get that. Whatever. We'll see what we get. 
There's a rescue stretcher. I think I'm gonna hold that though in case. Well, I could do spinning fan this turn. Maybe try and get some damage on the board. I kind of like doing spinning fan. I mean, I don't mind forcing him to have to keep uh, doing all this like all these like big electric, all these strong charges. I think this might be a good play. Hopefully, we can soften him up too. And then we can knock him out with plasma slice. So we'll spread the damage. Don't mind that at all. Puts Pokemon in certain ranges. Like now, Lele can be KO'd by uh, Guzma next turn. So we can take out Lele next turn, which is the plan. Would have been nice though to hit the Bulu. But everything kind of caps at 150. Now, does he have a Guzma or a Floatstone to retreat? That's the question. But we finally got the Road Hump show on the road, guys. Got nine tools, and not too bad either. We got a couple choice bands left. Even got a few balloons left, I think. So, it's looking pretty good. So we at least are keeping some of the good tools, like choice band and bursting balloon. Stuff we actually kind of need in this certain matchup. So I think I take out Lele here. And then, yeah, let's see. I don't know how much energy he has. I have a feeling, though, he's playing, like, 90 energy or something ridiculous like that. Because he's got, like, a billion cards. He's, he's clearly playing. I don't know if he's, like, new to the game or not. But I don't think he's playing, a, like, a serious version of Igaboo. He didn't even knock me out. Bruh. That's actually huge. All right, so we'll trade off. We'll trade off Rotom. Can we find Guzma? We have one in the deck. Okay, we didn't. So we can knock him out here, or we can do another spinning fan. Hit the Bulu, but... Hmm. Maybe Frost Crush can knock him out? So we're doing 30. So 30, 50, 70, nah, we're only doing 120, so it's still not enough. Maybe spinning fan again, or maybe we knock him out, take a prize card. Remove two energies off the board. I think I knock him out, actually. We just save Spinning Fan for a rainy day. And our prize is Field Blower. Not bad. Maybe. No. Doesn't really matter at this point. So he's bringing out the Bulu. He sh hopefully is a little more low on energies now. But again, I have a feeling he's playing like 20 energies or something ridiculous. Because he I don't think he's playing like a serious Vika Bulu list. It's pretty obvious with the three Lilies. So hopefully he's only playing like maybe 7 energy. Like, don't be playing 20 energies, please. You've already used like half. You've used more than like 75% of your energies. Please don't be playing like 200 energies. I swear if you are, I'm going to cry. But I get the feeling he is. But we're in a pretty okay spot right now. I actually don't mind this position. So we see a Nature's Judgment knock out my poor little Rotom. He doesn't have the discard energy, I forgot. Could do Spinning Fan this turn. We got an Ultra Ball. Um, I don't mind that. Hmm. How many? What am? Okay, what am I looking for? I think I go for Guzma and just get a prize, just for the memes. But at the same time, I do want to knock out this Bulu. Don't really like Lele on the bench. Guzma's prize. Great. Uh, we do have Countercatcher though, so maybe we can get that. So, we'll see. Nice. Okay, we did get the counter catcher. I was actually hoping... I don't know if I have any... Or maybe I don't have any Bursting Balloons left in the deck. Get rid of Assault. We're not going to need Assault Vest in this matchup. Alright, what do we get? Still no Bursting Balloon. I Maybe there's just none in the deck. I didn't actually check. Hmm. Maybe what I do here is Spinning Fan... Hope he doesn't do Tapper Wilderness. Or I could counter catcher another Vika Bolt and maybe try and buy some time. You can take the prize on the Tapu Lele now. Part of me does want to do that, but at the same time, I really want to get damage on this Bulu. We're not going to be able to win the game off of Guzma and one counter catcher. That's what I'm trying to say. 
I don't mind trapping him. Let's try it. Maybe we can get some decent damage on the board. Please don't drop Flowstone or Guzma. I, part of me did just want to hit the active with the choice band so I could maybe finish him off with Plasma Slice, but uh, we'll see how this works out. I hope he does not play like a million energies though. You've played, you have played so much energy, you should not even have that much left in your deck. Please do not be playing a, a Vika Bulu. Okay, he got Guzma Rip. That I think is game because we cannot do enough damage to one shot him. Hmm. I think that's game, guys. I can't do anything about it. Oh yeah, now okay, bursting balloon. I hate you too. Thank you for coming at the worst time possible. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I can get out of this. I don't think I can do anything. Guys. I think it just like I'm done for. Now I regret doing that counter catcher because I basically gave my opponent <laughs> the way he needed. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. Frost Crush can't do enough damage. He's still gonna take a hit. I think. Best thing I can do is 120, balloon him, but then he just heals. That sucks. I think I just take the loss. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Unfortunately, we did lose. We'll find another game, though, just because that game was pretty fun, but I don't have all night to record. So we'll try and get one more game with the deck, and hopefully we can maybe get a win. Nice little clutch win would be pretty good. A water deck. Alright, this could be good because we do have Mo Rotom, but I'm feeling like he's playing Greninja, which is a pretty bad matchup for me because we're slow. We can't give him time to set up, and Greninja Break does so much damage to my Rotoms. I really hope it's not Greninja Break, guys. I really hope it's not Greninja Break. Please don't be Greninja Break. I already know what it is, though. And once again, we are left with a unplayable hand, which is lovely. <sighs> Dude, I'm not like this not like this times 20 oh he's playing like a water deck. okay can we please get end or something or can we draw something because this is like a no-no for me <laughs> so my opponent will lend me which is awesome this is perfect now, another issue actually is that we can't one shot lapras with mo rodon with a choice band okay that's 20 times better than anything i've seen so we see an ultra ball Oh, he's playing Silvali. Okay, this should be interesting. Silvali, I think we can deal with. As long as we have stuff we can one shot, I'm happy. Probably plays Max Elixir. I don't know what other water types. I don't know. He might play Tabu Fini. He might play Wishy Washy. I don't know. So, what we can do. So, definitely not going to need the Heat Rotom. We can grab a Zorua, try and get a Zoark into play. Put you down. I really wish we were discarding more tools here, though, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be nice to discard some tools, but we can do Sycamore. I actually don't mind doing Frost Rotom here in this matchup, either, because Savali does tend to play a lot of energy. Okay. So, unfortunately, we are not really drawing too well with what we're getting. Might actually want to keep that. I'm just going to put on Zorua. I'm just going to pass. So hopefully we get Ender, we draw something. At the very least, we can get two tools in the discard. I am kind of baiting him to play Field Blower, which I know he's not going to do. Enhanced Hammer, why do you play that? Why? There goes my DCEs. <sighs> now, I don't know if he's actually going to be attacking me this turn. He's going to bring out Lele, which I'm fine with. Should probably do Guzmo again. I don't know. Lele, I guess, can attack too, but that DC is sad because now Zoar can't attack. We might actually need him. I value Zoark more than Lele because Lele gets one shotted by Lapras. Zoark doesn't unless he's playing Kakui. She's collecting for three. No energies down that turn, which is, I guess, a good sign. Another balloon. 
just want to pass. So I, wanna, I don't want to burn these Guzmas if I don't need to play them. So hopefully we can draw something, get something going. It'd be nice if we can streamline this deck, get get a nice chain going. Maybe I should get Guzma so volley, but then he can just turbo drive and then rebel me. Though I wouldn't mind getting that 60 damage on either the Lapras or the Silvali. That would be kind of nice. I doubt he plays Lana because it'd be nice to get the damage on. And then Mo Rodom actually has some purpose here. Another Collect. So he's drawn a lot of cards. So that's three tours. And we are just lucking out today, guys. I think I just goose my Silvali, bring out this Rodom, and pass. I was tempted to play the Choice Band in case we like get draw a Field Blower, get End, and I get a Field Blower. But please, can we draw something? I don't want to lose because we can't draw anything. Maybe this deck needs better draw support. Obviously, a 3-3 Zor could be better. But there's so many cards you need to have in this deck to make it work, so it's like really clunky. That's why I don't think 3-3 Zor works in this deck. Which is why I don't play 3-3 three, three, and why I only play 2-2. Two, two. So he does get DCE. There's an Ultra Ball. Getting rid of... Let's see. Just a Fire Memory. Wait. Huh? Okay, I am really confused. Did he do Cyrus's? Oh no, he discarded it. Okay, I was like, he only discarded one card with Ultra Ball. I thought he played Cyrus, and I was like, wait, I don't know what was going on. Max Elixir, please don't find energy. I found energy, dang it. I hate that when they play Max Elixir and they take like two seconds, and then you know they, they found an energy or else they would have just clicked on right away. I hate that. It's the worst feeling in PDCGO, I swear. Switch to rip, bro. Not even Goosebump can't even work anymore. And there's Collector. Be nice to hit him for 120. Yes, alright, finally we got a Zoar. This is good, so we'll trade, get rid of Choice Band. We got Cynthia. Alright, this is good, so four tools. I don't think we'll be able to pull off an, uh, an attack this turn. Hmm, how many tools is that? If I, if I get rid of the Assault Vest and the DCE. It's three, four. It's four, so that'd be six. Nine. Let's do that. I'm gonna play Nest Ball, thin out the deck, get another Zorua down. Yeah. Alright, so that's one, two, that. Yeah, four. It should be six, right? Yeah. All right, let's pass. And hopefully next turn we can attack him finally. It just sucks that Rotom doesn't one shot. I mean, nice if he's playing something that, like I can actually one shot, like you know, fire or even a grass deck. Though I am glad he's not playing Greninja. I honestly thought I was up against Greninja. I think he has a Guzma in his hand too. I can't look. Yeah, he just casually had it, of course. <sighs> you can ice beam me, but I can do Guzma. I haven't played. Oh no, I can maybe get sick more, but I think I'm gonna have to do Guzma here, guys. So we can probably Guzma the Savali. Now he doesn't have that one shot, so that's actually not bad. <sighs> Countercatcher. So we'll trade off. Honestly, just a choice band. I want to try and attack this turn if I can. So that's seven, we need two more. We drew a Sycamore. So I think what we do is Guzma Silvali. Bring out the Rodom. And pass. That is, I think, our last Guzma though, which I don't really want to lose. So I wouldn't mind trying to do like the fan Rodom's attack and then soften them up for special mode. But we've gone through a couple choice paints, so we'll see. See a Glaceon come down, which you know can block Zoark, but not my Rodons. This sucks, so I'm losing two of my Guzma options. I don't know if I can win without them. I'm tempted just to hold this hand. I'm gonna trade this away. Rip, no tools.
Hmm. I really do not want to do Sycamore. I think I have to do... Yeah, I have to do this, I think. I need to keep this hand. Okay, Poison Barb is not bad. I think I just pass. We're getting our draw supporters, but like at the worst time possible. Sycamore, okay. One thing I also don't mind is maybe trying to like, I mean, if he builds up a lot of energy, this Rodom actually can do good damage. Max Elixir, and it hit once again, because he took, he's taking 10 years. I hate that, man. I just said that, but I hate it. But thank you for putting energy in play. Another one, as DJ Khaled would say, and it whiffed. How, how much damage is that? 50, 70, 90, 120. Ooh, that DC is big. Oh, no, it's true. So he'll knock me out, but he's poisoned. I think we actually knock him out here with special Mo. That would be insane. And the fact, too, we were able to set up without even losing any prize cards. That is something else. I was not expecting that to happen. We should be able to knock him out here as long as we can draw maybe a tool. Yep, okay. I like where this is going. Trade. And we can attack, right? Sweet. I guess we can end him. Okay, that's actually not bad either. Alright, so what we can do is just special move. Look at that. We actually knocked him out. And the fact, too, giving up one prize is not bad. Alright, so we got a nest ball and a bursting balloon. Bursting balloon is going to be really helpful here, I think. So we're most likely going to get knocked out, but we finally took him out with this Mo Rodon for the win. One thing I wouldn't mind doing is maybe trying to play Guzman Silvalli and then getting some spinning fans off. Max looks here, which hits, which is a little annoying. We can even use special Mo on Silvalli. That might actually be pretty good. He's used to switch. He's what, three, two Guzmans, two Guzmans. He's got one left. So there's a Cynthia. He's slow on cards too, which is funny. We maybe we can deck him out for the memes. Okay, so Aqua Patch. I think I'm safe to put DC down too. It's good to know. So we get knocked out here. Let's see where he puts the energy. Fortunately, if he finds another water, you can just retreat into Lapras. So maybe doing special Mo is not a good play, and I think I'm not going to do that. I think I just hit him with Frost Crush, because it actually does decent damage. Ah, wait, do we knock him out? I don't think we do. First things first, I'm going to trade off... Uh, Probably just Nest Ball. I was actually debating what I'm on. I might play Ultra Ball, though, to grab the second Zoark. Stretcher... I'm gonna play Stretcher and put back that other, that Mo Road on, because this thing can one shot Lapras, I think. How much are we doing with Frost Crush? 50. Yeah, 50, 70, 90. 110. 130. 150. So we actually do 170 with a Choice Band. We could potentially knock out Glaceon here, actually. Let's try and set that up. I guess Floatstone it is. I don't want to... I want to keep every other thing in my hand. And I don't know what to trade off, actually. Maybe I just get rid of Fighting Fury Bells, honestly. Well, maybe not, because we do actually... I think I'm actually going to do this. We'll put the belt on. We'll go Zoark. I should have all those other Rotoms, so I can get rid of the one that does 120. Let's do find. Alright. Not terrible, I guess. So what we'll do... We'll Frost Crush him. And he has to go into Lapras to knock me out. If we win this game, though, guys, I'm going to be so surprised. Can build up Glacian all he wants, but not going to matter. Maybe I tag him with Zork at some point, too, because it can't really be one-shotted by anything at this point. He does do Cynthia. 
puts him closer to finding Guzma. That's kind of what I'm worried about. Should only have one left. Maybe it's prize. So he's just going to turbo drive, but I do not get knocked out. So I don't know why he did that, but I will take it with happiness. So we'll trade... What, what's even to grab at this point? I wouldn't mind finding that other goose. Hmm. He probably plays Ace Rolla. I think we just knock him out, to be honest with you. But we could get Field Blower next turn. That'd be kind of scary. I think we'll get rid of a Bursting Balloon. Salt Vest. Okay, we can get rid of that. Which I think at this point doesn't really matter. No Guzma. So we'll Frost Crush, knock out this Silvali GX for 220. Holy cow. Another Ultra Ball, Sycamore, some cards we can get rid of. We could get in. That could be devastating. Maybe I should have put tools down. But I kind of feel like he is going to do Field Blower here, which I'm a little worried about. But we just need one pry, we just need one more knockout to win the game, guys. So let's see if we can pull this off. That's still a lot of energies. Can we knock him out with Frost Crush? Well, the end might be in a no. But again, we have double trade, so we should be good. He's putting a lot of waters in play. Hmm. We did find Choice Ban. Palpad? Do you have another Max Elixir you can play, please? No, rip. I think he, I, what did he put? I think he, he got in, and I think I saw... No, he didn't even put a Guzma back. Interesting. So he's going to put another Water in play. Which means we might have a shot of winning the game. So I'm going to bring a Morot on in case we can find Lele or Guzma. DCE. So we'll do Trade. We should be able to win here if we can find Guzma. And there it is. Did we just beat? Did did we just beat? Did we just win a game with rope? I don't know what to say. I think we just won. That's a win. I oh we could have knocked out so volley rip, but whatever. How did we just win? What is going on? Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like for those for that game. I mean, the second game, the first game was kind of iffy, but this was a really good game. We just wrecked him. I am so surprised we actually managed to win that game. Do not know how it happened. But I am very happy we actually won a game with Rotom. That is awesome. Rotom, guys, is it the new meta? I think it is. I think Rotom is indeed the new meta. That was insane. I don't know how we won that. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty fine with this list. Maybe you could try and find more ways to get rid of tools. I guess a 3-3 Zork wouldn't hurt. I don't know, man. I don't know why I might go through my friends list. But how do we win? Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Don't get too subscribed to help me the road to 3,000 subscribers, guys. We're getting there soon. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on my recent videos. And thanks, and I'll see you later.